trust me, James. The author of all your pain. Bond. James Bond. Yes, that was a bad Sean Connery impression. No, Sean Connery has nothing to do with this video, other than the fact that he played this character 50 years ago. And yes, as you can see, I have dressed for the occasion in a red tie, a white t-shirt, and a suit jacket. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about Spectre. And no, I am not talking about Phil Spectre. Nor am I talking about the fact that Al Pacino played him in that movie that I still haven't watched, Pear. I'm talking about Spectre 007. Let's jump right into Spectre. There's been a lot of debate whether Spectre sucked or was good, and I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I think it was a good Bond movie. I don't care what you say. I mean, at the end of the day, it had a nice amount of the elements that made Bond Bond. You know, the cheesy throwback to the 60s stuff. And it had a pretty decent story, though a little flaky in spots. Um, I really liked Batista in this movie, which, between Guardians of the Galaxy and this, he's becoming, for me at least, someone to look out for. This is a guy who basically comes from the wrestling background, and there's not a lot of guys who could swing it other than The Rock. I mean, Hulk Hogan was a terrible fucking actor, but um, that's neither here nor there. Daniel Craig, once again, great as Bond. He seems a little bored with the role at times, I will admit, but that's, I mean, hey, listen four times, you know, he had struggled a little bit with that second one, Quantum of Solace. A lot of people are putting this on the level of Quantum of Solace, and like I said, I don't I don't feel that way. Um, I feel it was pretty good. Not as good as Skyfall, but a good effort by Sam Mendes and everybody else involved. Um, there are weaknesses, there are flaws I have with the movie. The biggest flaw, I think, is the lack of Christoph Waltz. I mean, he doesn't show up until halfway through the movie, and just when you're really getting into his story, they kind of cut it short. Uh, I guess I could say some spoilers. I mean, he survives. Um, and they kind of leave it open, but there's no real official word on whether he's going to return as Blofeld, so I kind of feel almost gypped if that's the last we see of Christoph Waltz as Blofeld. Um, I've heard rumors that he signed for the next Bond, but only if Daniel Craig should return, which there's rumors that Daniel Craig will not return, and if you've seen the movie, it kind of leaves a little closed thing there with, you know, the character, although I think they could go the route of On Her Majesty's Secret Service, if you know what I'm talking about. It, I think out of five, I'd have to give it about... A, a, a 3.5. I mean, this is, it's it's not a bad movie. It's it's not a perfect movie, but it, it's a fun Bond movie. I don't think, I wouldn't go as far as to say, hey, drop everything, run out, but it, it is a good Bond movie. Um, and as far as the future of the series, I mean, I, I, I see it getting elevated. I think this was a funner movie than Skyfall. I don't, I don't think it was a, you know, Skyfall was very kind of moody and dark and you get Javier Bardem in there and he's all you know how he is with his accent and the way he yeah looks with the blonde hair which I wish I had but it's 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 a fun movie it's it's a fun movie it's a decent movie and I would definitely recommend it um I picked up this steel book from Best Buy which if it's still available I guess it's pretty cool although it's a little a little boring inside, not really that good of artwork. So, uh, that's my review of Spectre. Pick it up and, I don't know, and have a nice day. <laughs> if you like this video, subscribe to Genuine Assholes. We're going to have plenty more fun stuff like this. And guess what? It's not just me. There's other people. I know you guys are thinking, I think it's just this guy. I don't think he's got anybody. No, I have people. It's just that I'm trying to start it a little bit at first. So subscribe if you like my Sean Connery impression. Let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you think I should die in a fire with my whole family, let me know. Thanks, YouTube.